Before we get in the car, what do we think? 39,000. I love this thing. Are you buying it? No. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to TechSmart for a super late video, but a probably early one when you're watching this. I just got back from the Tesla Cybertruck event and I got to test drive it. All right, now I know what you're thinking and I know what the title says. You got to actually test drive the Tesla Cybertruck. Well, I got to sit in the back seat and there's footage all through this video. I was there at the event. I'm done flexing this badge, but the Tesla Cybertruck. So this was really hyped up and I got the iPad Pro here just so I'm accurate on all the details that went down because emotions aside, you probably were thinking it'd be something else than what came out. Elon talked about that it'd be Blade Runner-like, it'd be Porsche performance, but in the utility, I guess, region of the F-150. So a pickup truck that really hauls and under $50,000. So that's kind of what I expected going into it. Saw a bunch of people there, MKBHD, Michael Fisher, The Unlocker, a bunch of Tesla YouTubers like Andy Sly, saw Shelby Church, bunch of people. Zach from Jerry Rig Everything. Everyone was there. That snazzy iPhone guy. Okay, Quinn. Everyone. Everyone was there. And everyone had mixed opinions going in and mixed reactions coming out. So we knew what to expect. And then the event really kicked off. The event looked really great. And then the car came out on stage. And no joke, I did not believe it was the real car. Let me know in the comments if you guys felt the same way. Just vote up in the iCard quickly. In my opinion, it looks like an electric Lamborghini Urus or some sort of EV hybrid. It looks like a military APC and I get the total concept is futuristic and a class of its own. So pricing and models, the biggest thing you came here for. And that was the most exciting thing because I thought for some reason a model would go over a hundred thousand, but you get surprised. So the Tesla Cybertruck comes in three models. You have your standard range, which can tow up to 7,500 pounds, zero to 60 time in 6.5 seconds. And of course, the range and price, 250 mile range with a $39,900 price tag. So that's for the standard one. That just gets you in the futuristic truck. Now there's two more, 300 mile range. So the dual motor all wheel drive. Here comes the final one, the bad boy, the tri-motor all-wheel drive, which I can't wait to figure out how it works. So for $69,900, 500-plus mile range, 14,000-plus pounds of towing, and a 0-60 to 60 of 2.9 seconds. And I know that's going to decrease when this car actually rolls out, whenever it rolls out. And then the self-driving mode costs $7,000. So I know that was really long-winded. Now let's jump into some of the other stuff. Some of the stuff I got to actually see, a 17-inch display. You have full self-driving, autopilot, all the entertainment features from any other Tesla OS. You have adaptive air suspension, which is a big thing with the Model S and Model X Raven. So you kind of see all that teased if you checked out those videos earlier. Now with the Tesla Cybertruck, no one knows how large the diameter of them tires are. But when I was sitting in it, it's a much more comfortable experience because it's large. The tires really absorb that shock and with adaptive air suspension, that's the big thing they're really featuring with the whole Cybertruck and it's kind of that industry they're trying to go for because it also comes with an air compressor, 110 or 220 volt plug. It's really if you want to ditch the F-150, you go for this and you bring it to the next job site because it's ready. <laughs> now the biggest thing is the materials that this car is made out of. It is an ultra hard 30 times cold rolled stainless steel exoskeleton. You let me know in the comments what car it's reminding you of just off the first impressions because I genuinely can't believe a sledgehammer was taken to the door. I mean it's stainless steel and it's 30 times cold rolled so yeah that works but then it came to the glass and you saw this. I wasn't expecting this. The glass, I thought, was a stunt. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. I thought it was basically Sonic. Okay, you saw the first version of Sonic. Now you have the new version of Sonic. We all talked about it. Now we're probably all going to go see it. It's like the Emoji Movie. Well, with Tesla Armor Glass, it's bulletproof up to a 9 millimeter. No one pulled to shoot anything. But that's gonna be a test because you can't claim that and show it works when you bring a metal ball 
throw it at the windshield, not once, but twice, and it fractures. And not where it's like, oh, you know, it stopped it. I was laughing, but I really thought that was a joke, and it's not. So I can't wait to see it actually stop a nine millimeter bullet. We got a long way to come for production, but that would be really cool. Just who, who can test it? Or who wants to put their car and hard earned dollars down for it? Probably TechSmart. It's, it's probably gonna be this channel, so get subscribed. So you kinda know a little bit more about the Cybertruck, but here's the big thing. I actually got to sit in the back. The interior feels like a Model X on steroids, really a vehicle of its own. And the actual UI on the 17 inch display kinda looks like dark mode was improved and it just looks like a different Tesla UI. That's it, I don't know for sure. I could only see it because I was in the back of the car, but what was awesome is the ex lockable exterior storage or really the back of the whole pickup truck. I thought that being illuminated was the coolest thing just to look at. The test drive was really quick. I don't know if we were in the tri-motor all-wheel drive model. It wouldn't surprise me. I know Elon loves to put on something just amazing for first impressions. They talked about an ATV. You know something's kind of funky. And really, we didn't hear pricing on the ATV, range on the ATV. It was drive this in the back of the truck because we made it and we can. But I asked three people just quickly that were near me what they thought about the Cybertruck just to get their first impressions, especially if they came out of a test drive. So I asked MKBHD Marquez Brownlee what he thought, and this is what he said. Pretty cool, I mean, look yeah. at it. No, you tell us. There's three seats in the front. Yep. The middle one falls down. Okay. And it's a bunch of cup holders. And then, yeah. in there is a camera. I think that's okay, legally. Else on the car. There's just a lot of glass. Do you like it? Will you buy it? I won't buy it. I don't need a Still truck. not convinced. No, I don't need a truck. But right. like, it's pretty cool. And then I was like, okay, let's go to a guy that's a little older. Michael Fisher. Here's what he said. Look, all I wanted was not to be bored. And I'm not, not bored. I'm not bored. You, how, you cannot possibly be bored looking at that. Many... And then we really wanted to go Gen Z, so I hit up my man Philip from Everything Apple Pro. Here's what he said. Do you need a truck in your life, Philip? Yes, I'm not getting a Toyota Tacoma because of that. And now we bring it right back here. You get some fresh opinions and impressions. There's one other company that has an electric pickup truck coming out in 2021, and it's by the name of the Rivian R1T. Do you pre-order the Cybertruck, or do you go for the Rivian? I think there's a whole nother video there. So of course, I have to say, where does the Tesla Model X stand? I feel like if I was a Model X owner, I wouldn't even consider this. And being a Model 3 performance owner, I'm only considering this because I have a tech YouTube channel. I wanna get more into electric vehicles. And this one looks really cool. This one's going to turn heads on the highway and there's a lot more I wanna learn more about. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this one. If you guys want a few more videos on EVs, I'm really enjoying them. So drop a like and I'll make some more. Get subscribed so you guys don't miss them and I'll catch you guys in the future or next time.